After BACP's own investigation of the 14 remaining slaughterhouses, Commissioner Escarreño admitted in late August that the city, quote, the city can't determine with certainty whether these businesses were licensed incorrectly, end quote. BACP insists that it is okay to perpetuate an error in licensing, um, in licensing these businesses, which may have started years ago. BACP tells us they are, there are insuffic insufficient records to pr prove that slaughterhouses were improperly licensed. But anyone can see with their own eyes that nine of these slaughterhouses violate the 200-foot restriction. Anyone can go out into the zoning, uh, city's zoning map website and see that five of these businesses are not in the right zones. Uh, they are in zones that actually prohibit slaughter. In response, we are demanding that BACP stop licensing these slaughterhouses. We say if they cannot regulate with them, which they have failed to do, that they have no business offering them licenses. Well, thank you all for coming. And I see there's many of you, and you're very passionate about this issue. And we appreciate you coming to inform us about this issue. My name is Juan Carlos Linares. I'm the Chief Engagement Officer in the Mayor's Office. This is Vance Henry and Nubia Wilman, both with the office as well here in the Mayor's Office. Um, and so, and I've gotten to know Mr. Grillo on other issues as well. Um, and I know that he is passionate, and I see that you are about your issues as well. Just from a protocol standpoint, in terms of the paperwork, if you wish to hand anything off, um, absolutely please do, but that has to go on the fourth floor so it gets circulated to the right people. Okay. Um, it's just, just an official protocol that we have. Okay. With regards to uh, the issues that you just described, I do have some questions. I don't know if maybe now is the best time for that, okay. but it seems like some of this stuff is directly related to BACP yeah. um, and, and their work. Right. Um, I believe you may be going up there uh, yes. to speak with them and they might be able to answer those content issues with you uh, better yeah. than we could. So our job is really to come here to listen to you um, and given that the mayor's schedule is really tight and she currently has something else going on right now is to pass that message on to the mayor. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was told you're already coming and we're here to welcome you. Um, so I had already let her know that you would be here. I don't know. I don't think she's going to be walking out here because she has other commitments, uh, right. but I will definitely pass on the message that you are here. Okay. And, and just so you know, we, we've been working with, BA, we've not working with BACP, but we have been in contact with them and we've been in meetings with them. And their conclusion, as I stated earlier, from their multi-department investigation, um, which lasted months, is, quote, <laughs> the city can, cannot determine with certainty whether these businesses were licensed incorrectly. They say they don't have the records to substantiate whether they should be con continue to be licensed. Okay. So with that said, the only logical conclusion for us is that these places should not be licensed at all. If they can't prove that they were licensed in error, and we can go out there and, and, and find dead animals um, in dumpsters behind their facilities, improperly disposed of dead animals, we can see that they're less than 18 feet away from an apartment building across the alley from them. Anybody can go out and see for, for their own eyes that they violate certain zoning laws and public health laws. And the city goes out there and does their inspections and comes back and says, oh, they're compliant, they're perfectly fine. Well, that's not what we're seeing. We're seeing violations of the law and we don't see the city acting on it properly. So we've worked with BACP, we're gonna push for, for harder with public health but we need the mayor's support on this issue. Okay, well we appreciate that. Um, there are some things that, again, probably best for BACP for them to hear. I don't know if their commissioner is available now, right. but I'm sure there's others that will come out and, and respond. Okay. They are filthy, the animals don't get water, they are uh, injured, they are sick, they smell like filth, blood, feces, and urine. Um, there is no way the health department can possibly say that these these slaughterhouses are compliant. So um, I have seen many sick animals, some like with pus on their eyes. Uh, one time we seen a pig frozen to the side of the truck. Basically I've been spending almost three years going to vigils left and right. We're seeing a truck full of pigs and goats, most of them having scabs, spores, and some cases of hypothermia, particularly in the winter time most likely. And it's always disturbing to watch. Everybody, almost everybody that we spoke to in these communities that, that live in the areas surrounding slaughterhouses 
regardless of what they eat, do not want these places in their neighborhoods. Keep on walking forward. Keep on walking forward. Keep on walking forward. Keep on walking forward. Keep on.